All right, more about my kidney stone experience. So I was talking to the doctor. I was told by the doctor that it would take a, a few days. I think I get, you know, he probably said a couple. I think he said a couple days. A couple days to pass the kidney stone. Uh, the doctor offered to give me, he said, some people are curious about what the kidney stone looks like. He, he offered me, uh, he showed me this cup. Uh, it had these drain holes in it. And then if I wanted to see the kidney stone when I passed it, I could, I could, ha I could have this cup. It would catch the kidney stone and I could look at it. I did not, I didn't take it. I didn't say anything. I thought that was a little weird. So I didn't, I didn't take that. Uh, I started feeling better after I got the shot in the butt cheek. So that was a relief to, uh, have the, uh, the pain subside a little. I don't think I was in pain at all for at least for a little while there. So that that shot in the butt cheek definitely helped. But I, I realized I didn't want to be at work when I passed this kidney stone, since the doctor told me there's going to be another sudden sharp pain. And I was remembering Kramer from Seinfeld. So I knew it would not be a good idea to be at, at work when this, when this passing of the kidney stone happens. After I left the hospital, I biked to Quick Trip. I don't know how, how, how many Quick Trips, how Quick Trips are spread out in the country of the United States. But where I live, there are there are quick trips all around. Quick trips are gas stations. So I went to, I biked from the hospital to uh, the quick trip gas station. Because so I was thinking, well, I need to, well, I was probably hungry, but I was, because I didn't even have, I didn't have breakfast. I missed breakfast. Uh, so I was thinking, well, I need to make sure I'm, I'm hydrated. Especially because I'm biking outside and it was probably, yeah, it was hot. It was August. So I got, I went to the gas station and I got some bananas and some Gatorade. So I stopped outside the, in the parking lot and I, I had some bananas and Gatorade. And that's... I felt better after that. Gave myself some energy and some hydration. Then I biked all the way to where I worked because I wanted to explain to them. Uh, I wanted to prove that I had been at the hospital, so show them my 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 pills, my pain pills. And I had a little bit of paperwork from the hospital, so I could say, so I could show them, uh, this is the proof. This is where I was. I was at the hospital and explained, wanted to explain to them that I had a kidney stone. That's why I wasn't coming into work. I wanted to, uh, so I wanted to show them all this proof. So that's why I was biking to where I worked to explain why I wasn't coming in. So the hospital is about a half hour in one direction from my apartment. And where I was working at the time was about a half hour in the other direction. So I was biking from one end of my town 
all the way to the other end of my town. So it probably took about a close to an hour. Probably, yeah, about an hour to get from the hospital to uh, where I was working. So, so not not exactly something good to be doing if you want to uh, recover from the uh, what I was going through with the kidney stone experience. I wasn't completely over it, but it probably wasn't helping that I was biking for an hour outside, uh, sweating in in the heat. But I, I wanted to make sure that uh, my workplace was aware of my situation. So I showed the office lady at work the pills uh, that I received and the drawing of that the doctor did of uh, my kidney stone situation. Uh, the office lady said that I needed to get a doctor's note. I should have got that when I was at the hospital. Didn't even think of it. That would have saved some time. So they said I needed to get a doctor's note. But I would be able to get a leave of absence from work. So I went back to my apartment and I called my mother and I got a ride back to the hospital to get the doctor's note. I remember being annoyed trying to get the doctor's note at the hospital. I had to be persistent to get the note. Persistent. Uh, I had requested a leave of absence from work for the whole week, and this was Monday. I got the impression that uh, the people at the hospital did not want to give me a doctor's note. So I was very frustrated that I had to be so persistent. To get the doctor's note. And I was thinking, do most people work while they're uh, passing kidney stones? That doesn't sound right. If you're in a lot of pain, why why would you be at work? So it seemed reasonable <clears throat> to uh, to be able to get a, a doctor's note for uh, having a kidney stone to be. Uh, able to, uh, allowed to have some time away from work for this kidney stone experience. So I was thinking, what, am I being a wimp here? Is that what they think? They think I'm being a wimp? What, you can't take the kidney stone? You need to have a, a pass from, from work? You can't work while you're having the kidney stone? What's wrong with you, you wimp? Uh, so when they gave me the doctor's note, it was only for two days, but that was fine. I just needed something to show my workplace to prove that I was there. So I, I just used the, uh, leave of absence for the rest of the week. So that was fine. I didn't know how bad the next few days were going to be since I'd never had a kidney stone before. I already knew there was a sudden sharp pain the first at the beginning of this. And I knew there was going to be another sudden sharp pain, according to the doctor. And my assumption from watching Seinfeld with Kramer. Uh, so I figured a week would be sufficient to recover. I 
I wish I had wrote on my calendar when I actually passed the kidney stone. I'm surprised I didn't. Because I, I wrote, I, I, I put, I put on my calendar that I was, was not working for the whole week, but I didn't actually write down. Passed kidney stone. Should have done that. I don't know why I didn't. I think it, it happened on Wednesday or maybe Thursday. So I didn't need the full week, but definitely a few days. See, so it, it would have been bad if I just assumed it would be a couple days to pass the kidney stone, uh, since that's what the doctor said. And that's what the doctor's note excused me for. So if I didn't take the leave of absence, if I just went by the what the doctor said and just the doctor's note, and then uh, and then on the third day, if I still hadn't passed the kidney stone, uh, and I was like, well, okay, I guess uh, I didn't pass the kidney stone. Uh, the, the doctor said it would only be a couple days, and the note only said for I was excused for a couple days, but that's... Uh, I didn't take a leave of absence, you know, if I hadn't taken the leave of absence, and then if I had to then go to work, still not having to pass the kidney stone, that would have been very bad. So I'm very glad that I took the whole week off. Because I would have been in a lot of pain from, cap from passing the kidney stone while at work. That would have been horrible. So that's why I felt better having the whole week off, just in case. So during this time, I was getting uh, seasons of Little House on the Prairie on DVD off of Amazon. So every month I was getting another season of Little House on the Prairie during this time. And I was also reading the Laura Ingalls Wilder books as well during this time. And then, all right, the pills helped with the pain, definitely. But when the, 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 they wore off, I couldn't take, I couldn't just take more pills because the pain returned. I, I, I could only take as much as the bottle said I could take. I just had to endure the pain until enough time passed for me to be able to take another pill. So the pill wore off, but then then I was in pain, but I just had to put up with it. So, I think, so one, of them, one of them says I can only take one a day, and the other one said uh... Oh, yeah, that one, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. This one says I can only take two times a day. I can only take that two times a day. And so if I had already, I had to, I had to make sure I s stretched it out. So one at the, the beginning of the day and the other one near the end of the day. So when the, when the pill wore off, I was, I was still, I was hurting. So I was just like, ah, oh, I just need time to go faster so that I can take another pill. So that's what I was dealing with with that. 